Overdrive magazine called Brockway Trucks the toughest truck in the world. And that legacy is holding tough too. The Brockway Motor Truck Company produced those trucks for 65 years, all custom built, made to order here in Cortland. At peak, Brockway employed about 800 people. They were great jobs. Folks waited years for a chance to work there. And those jobs fueled the local economy. Down to the, the lady who made the, uh, the boots for the steering columns in her house. Uh, and the machine shops that produced uh, uh, parts for the trucks. Despite hard feelings and hard times when the plant closed in 1977, Cortland will always be Husky Town, USA, the nickname it got from Brockway's mascot. To fill the first floor because there's... The city of Cortland's centennial in 2000 included a gathering of truck collectors from all over the country. It was supposed to be just a one-time show. And once those Brockway owners came, uh, there was no uh, one show. They wanted to come back the next year. They, they were going to come back forever. And they have. This weekend marks the 20th reunion, and they expect the largest crowd ever, with over 150 trucks and visitors from all around the globe. Every one of them has a story. It's rumored this produce truck, for instance, may have taken on other loads during the Depression. They would pick up barrels of liquor in Long Island Sound, put them in the truck, cover the truck with vegetables, and head for town. This banana wagon was refurbished by the community, a total volunteer effort that didn't cost the museum a dime. It came from the Cortland County Highway Department and was there when I worked there during my college years. It's a 1947 Brockway. I'm a slightly later vintage. It's not really new, but, but we changed the focus. And much of this weekend revolves around the Brockway Museum, part of the Central New York Living History Center on Route 11 between Cortland and Homer. Opened in 2012, its mission is to keep alive memories of the days when manufacturing and agriculture were at the center of life in the Seven Valleys. I mean, when you look around here, we have put our finger on virtually every part of life that, uh, uh, that has been here over time. And you can bet that finger picks up the pulse of Brockway trucks still running proudly today. From Cortland, I'm Tim Fox, News Channel 9. Tell us something good. Got a great story worth sharing. Send us an email at somethinggood at localsyr.com or post to social media using the hashtag somethinggoodsyr.